Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Sephora haul together. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up recently from Sephora. A lot of these products I've talked about being super excited about, and these are going to be in a future hits and misses because I love testing out products for you guys and letting you guys know whether or not they are worth the money. There's also going to be one PR product I'm gonna include in this video too, so this is also something I'm going to be testing out. Before we get started, I do want to do a quick thank you to ShopTaker for partnering with me on this portion of today's video. ShopTaker is a free online shopping tool that you can use either on your computer or on your phone. And essentially, while you're shopping, you can save your items to your ShopTaker account and ShopTaker will let you know whether they are on sale or whether they're back in stock. In order to try out ShopTaker, all you have to do is go to the ShopTaker website, make an account, and then you can add their browser extension button so you can make saving items onto your ShopTaker account that much easier. Because you guys know I am a high-end and luxury makeup lover, I'm also a high-end and luxury accessories lover. I love using the ShopTaker list format on their website because I can organize all of my saved items onto different categories. So we have decor, makeup, bags. One of my favorite sites that I use ShopTaker with, of course, is Sephora because I spend a ton of money there every year being a YouTuber as well as a beauty lover. Often Sephora will upload an item onto their inventory and it'll say, coming soon. Typically that is a new release of some kind. And whenever you ask Sephora to send you notification when it's in stock, often it's delayed and that I can't stand because if I need to get a product fast for a video, that is something I cannot rely on. So I actually save those items to my ShopTiger account and they send me notifications a heck of a lot faster. And that ensures that I get the product as quick as possible so I can get a review or a haul or hits and misses up for you guys as soon as possible too. As you can see here, this is me just doing an example of saving one of my favorite items onto my ShopTaker account. This is something that of course goes out of stock very, very quickly. Once it comes back in stock, I definitely wanna know about it. So as you can see here, I'm saving it onto my ShopTaker account as well as saving it into my makeup list so everything stays organized. Another one of my favorite features, of course, is their coupon code searcher engine thing. I don't know exactly what that's called, but essentially before you check out from shopping online, it has all of the coupon codes saved in their inventory. So you don't have to worry about typing in coupon codes in order to get the best price. It'll search their database for you and make sure that all of the applicable coupon codes are applied to the orders. If you guys wanna check out ShopTiger, I do have a link in the description box for you to check it out with. I really hope that you guys enjoy the service as much as I do. It's definitely made online shopping a lot easier for me. Now, without further ado, let's talk about all of the items I have recently hauled as well as the one PR product I've received in the mail. The first product that I hauled in my most recent Sephora haul is actually just a backup of this guy. So this is the Beauty Blender sponge. If you guys are unfamiliar, this is a cult classic, of course. There are a lot of dupes out there with the Beauty Blender sponge. And to be honest with you, I haven't actually tried any dupes. Because I'm a huge fan of the Beauty Blender and I know how long they last for me, I'm still picking these up all the time. I especially love the original Beauty Blender sponge because I feel like it has the perfect texture to apply foundation foundation or cream products to the skin. I've just gotten incredibly comfortable applying it to the skin and I feel like it just has that flawless result. So I haven't taken the plunge to try any dupes out. So do let me know if there's a dupe that you think is worthy of replacing this guy. I am all ears, but so far I am super in love with this and that's why I got a backup. Now the item that I got in PR is actually from Good Molecules. I am on their PR list, which is super, super nice of them to include me in. This is the new discoloration correcting serum from them. Now it's always important when you're testing skincare out to do a patch test because even though there aren't any bad ingredients in it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a fit for your skin because there's obviously varying different genetic factors between all of us and our skin is so different with different issues. So I always suggest you do a patch test. Don't just slather something on your skin before you figure out if your skin will actually handle it. Everybody is different. So this is the serum itself and it's in a glass bottle, which is amazing. It has the 
gorgeous packaging that Good Molecules is known for. Very weighty in the hand, feels luxurious even though it's not. You can actually buy Good Molecules at Beautylish. I love the fact that it's glass packaging because the recyclability is a lot higher than plastic and they just have ingredients that just do their job and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something I'm excited to test out for you guys. Of course, I will include it in a future hits and misses. When I talked about new makeup that I'm excited about, and I did a whole video about that, I did talk about a couple mascaras that I've been really, really interested in. So I picked up two of them to start kind of my little mascara battle, so to speak. The first one is this one from Pat McGrath. This is the Dark Scar. This is the dark, this is the dark star mascara. I think I've said that now a few times. I feel like I say dark scar <laughs> whenever I say it too fast. This is the dark scar mascara, dark star. Anyway, this is of course the new mascara from her. It's definitely been out for a while, but it does promise instant volume and lengthening an anti-gravity lift, very interesting. <laughs> so this is the tube. This is a gold metallic outer packaging. And to me, it reminds me of, you know, just like the hourglass caution, it's the same kind of color. Obviously this is cylindrical, whereas the caution one is a little bit of a different shape, but this is very heavy in the hand too. Definitely a nice little packaging display for sure. And I find that the wand, it's not as curvy as I thought in the picture. The wand still has a slight tapered middle to it. So it almost looks like a slight hourglass, but it's not as pronounced as I thought on the website. And I thought based on that picture on the website, which is Sephora's website, by the way, I thought it was going to be like the better than sex mascara, which has a very distinct like bend in the wand. It's very like hourglass, right? This is just got a slight tapered edge, but nothing crazy. So this is definitely a surprise, but I'm happy to have picked it up and I'm very excited to put it to the test. The second mascara that I'm going to be testing out for you guys also is this new one from Hourglass. This is the Unlocked Mascara. This is one that also promises to have more of a lengthening effect. It's called the Unlocked Extensions Mascara. Instant extensions, there we go. And the color is ultra black. So my cup of tea for sure. This is, okay, this is is the same outer packaging as Caution. It is a lighter gold than Pat McGrath. I don't know if my camera is gonna be able to pick it up because the metallicness of this is bouncing the light off of these. But I'm gonna try my best to kind of demonstrate. There's yellow gold, a more of a yellow tinge to the Pat McGrath versus the Hourglass one. This one I'm super excited about too because I've heard a ton of mixed things actually about this one, the Hourglass one. So I'm very excited to put it to the test. I am a big fan of their Caution mascara already, so it's gonna be very interesting to see how they compare. Hopefully there's going to be enough of a difference between them two because they have different SKUs and different formulas, right? Different packaging, different name. So I'm hoping that there's going to be a significant difference between them so I can kind of advise you guys as to which one would be a better fit for you. I do have one last Hourglass product to show you guys. It also was in my new makeup I'm excited about video. This is the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder from Hourglass. Now this is really cool. I like their lighting powders. I know that some people think that they don't have much of a difference when you apply them to the skin, but I feel like it's enough of a difference to bring light to certain areas of the face that I feel like it's worth purchasing them. They are a luxury product though, and a luxury price point. And if it's not in your budget, then it's not something to splurge on. You don't wanna feel guilty about buying stuff, right? For some people, it's too subtle to justify the price, but for me, I like them. So that's why I'm kind of excited to try this new one. This has a gorgeous gradient effect. You guys can see that there in the pan. And this is a full size version also. They do make some mini sizes in other products, but I didn't see the mini size of this one. So either I missed it or they haven't created it yet. <laughs> So what it says under Sephora's website here for this product is that it is a first of its kind finishing powder that features two ambient lighting powders and an ambient strobe highlighter all mixed together. So that's gonna be very interesting because the formula then is different. They are combining the lighting powders with, an, with a highlighting powder. So that could be why there's some mixed reviews on this, but some people really aren't a fan. Like this isn't the best reviewed product on Sephora and that's kind of shocking for an hourglass product. So I will keep you guys posted. I am very, very curious to see how this ranks because I'm definitely a fan of the ambient lighting powders. All right, guys, this is the last item that is in this Sephora haul. And this is something that was surprisingly very mini sized to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> this was also something on my most wanted list. I've been hearing so many recommendations from you guys that I should try these out. I'm a big lip product fan. I love glosses. I love lipstick. And even though a lot of us are wearing masks right now, it makes me feel more happy and cheerful and brightened up, I guess, just... I don't know, as a person, when I take off my mask for the day and then I put on a gloss. I don't know what it is, but I don't wear them underneath a mask because it's just gonna smear and be all sticky. But taking off the mask is almost like the 2020 version of taking off your bra at the end of the day. You're just like, ah, oh, this is amazing. And then you put on a gloss and you feel like pretty and just a little bit more, I don't know, smiley and happy. This is highly recommended from you guys. And I figured I would grab this mini set of this to try a few shades out, but they're really, really mini. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the In A Blush Crushed Oil Infused Gloss Kit. There we go. Look how tiny this is. It's so itty bitty. And there's three little guys in here. So let's see what they look like because I have a feeling they're gonna be micro, which you know what? That's fine, honestly, because I have a ton of lip products anyway. So it'd be nice to kind of feel like I can get through something. But this is the three of them here. I feel like all of these are gonna be very wearable shades too, which is awesome. The shades that are in this kit are Free Spirit, which is more of like a brownie nude kind of gloss. Then we have New Romantic, which is more of like a mauve. This one is really, really beautiful too. We also have Love Letter, which is more of, I guess, like a true pink. So this is very, very interesting. I'm actually going to swatch these for you too, because I wonder how pigmented these are for lip oil. Okay, they're not that bad actually. They're fairly pigmented. They're still sheer, but for a lip oil, more pigment than I thought. Okay, so going from left to right, we have Free Spirit, then we have New Romantic, and then we have Love Letter. So you can see that they are still fairly sheer, but they are these lip oil infused glosses. So they're supposed to be more hydrating. They're supposed to give you that, you know, glossy, ultra juicy kind of look to your lips. So I'm really excited to try these out and let you guys know what I think of them, but they've definitely come very highly recommended from you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul today. Do let me know all of your thoughts on all of these products. Thank you once again to Shop Tiger for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. And until my next one, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. But sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way.